real numbers about performance. So let's start making some changes. So I proposed this session. We said we're going to talk about six things to make Drupal fast. I'm going to talk probably a little bit more than just six. But uh, the point here is that performance improvement and tuning is a reiterative process. You want to make a change. You want to test it analyze it and repeat. There are different changes that you're going to make and, and not one website is the same. Different websites will respond differently de depending on your use, depending on the modules that you're using. Uh, so sometimes a, a performance improvement, if not configured correctly, may actually be detrimental to the speed of your site. So change, test, analyze, and repeat. Okay, we, t we briefly spoke about some of the things that are recommended in the best practices of why slow and page speed. Uh, luckily, Drupal does a lot of these on already through the use of the uh, performance module and some of the other modules that are available. I'm going to talk about the uh, problem of uh, long waterfalls that have many, many different objects and how to um, uh, try to solve that. Um, by the way, I should mention uh, Mike Town 2, Mike has developed a parallel, Parallels yeah. mod module that helps you do that. I, I did not mention that, but it should be on that slide. Uh, so, but here's the problem. Uh, your browser can download how many objects at a time from one domain two to six. So if you have 200 objects in that waterfall diagram, say 100 images, you're basically waiting for two or six objects to load and then the next one loads. So obviously one way to design your pages a little bit better is to make fewer objects calls. Well, if that's not possible, if your page really has that many objects, then a way to bypass that is to um, put some of the static content on different domains that will paralyze, increase the parallelization of download of your objects and increase, and hence increase the page speed. So <laughs> there's a trade-off here because one of the recommendations also is to make fewer DNS requests. So kind of a catch-22. Again, that's why it's important to look at each site uh, differently and analyze it. So if I have six objects, it clearly doesn't make sense for me to make six DNS calls because each, each DNS call comes with its own uh, penalty, time penalty. But if I have 200 objects, then the trade-off is, is, is very reasonable to put maybe two or three, uh, have two or three different subdomains or domains and have those objects load from those. So instead of loading six, you're loading 12 or 18 at the same time. Make sense? So we talk about there's a browser scope as a site that uh, gives you a insight into um, into the uh, number of objects that uh, different browsers can download at the same time, and this really nicely brings us to the topic of CDNs. Um, CDN just to, for the CompSite 101 is essentially a uh, content delivery network which takes your content, your static content, and brings it closer to the network. CDNs are designed to be super fast, very responsive, and give you get, bring those objects closer to where you are. So uh, uh, think YouTube. You know, when we started watching YouTube, it was like, wow, those large flash objects, magic. How do they appear so fast? Well, that's use of CDN. Uh, Vim Lears, um, is he, are you here, Vim? No. Uh, I think he's devoting his life to making CDN integration in Drupal uh, easier. Uh, it's fantastic. Uh, uh, the CDN integration is not widely used in Drupal, and I've, I've um, really been scratching my head and wondering why. It does require a patch to core, uh, so maybe that is a reason why. Uh, Simple CDN is another um, CDN integration that's been around uh, in Drupal. It's a little bit simpler. Vim Lear's uh, CDN module wants to integrate, wants to give you an option to integrate pretty much most 
popular CDNs out there. So it gives you a lot more options. It, it comes with a file conveyor, which uh, allows you to integrate with some CDNs that need those files to be sent over. It runs via cron job. There's also some discussions recently that, uh, that the media mover module may be doing uh, something uh, similar. So um, this will dramatically increase your performance by bringing in content closer to the network and paralyze your processing on the browser side.